So we've got the one, the two minor, the one over three, the four, and the five. The next is the six chord. And here, we can just make our normal B minor shape, but we're actually up at the fourth fret, so it's a C sharp minor. And we can play it like a bar if we want, but if we open it up, it gives it kind of that more opening, ringing sound. Another chord I like to play instead of this shape right here is it's like a D sus2, a D sus2 shape, and then I put a B in the bass, and I leave the D open. And in this case, it's a pretty much a true C sharp minor 7 with that E. It's a pretty easy shape to grab. So we've got the one chord, D, E minor, D over F sharp, G, A, B minor. We can also play around with some other open B minor type sounds. Uh, and they may fit, they may not for the kind of music you're doing. The, the next, the last chord would be a seven chord. The seventh chord is actually a minor seven flat five. You see those sometimes in worship music, but not a lot. Um, and uh, what you see instead, instead of this D sharp seven flat five, D sharp minor seven flat five, is you'll actually see a B with a D sharp in the bass, and sometimes a B seven with a D sharp in the bass. And it makes sense when you put it in context like walking down from a D I'm sorry, an E to a B with the seventh in the bass down to the C sharp minor. So the bass notes go E, B sharp, C sharp. Pretty common progression. Um, and so that's instead of the seventh chord here, a lot of times you'll see this inversion. And we'll get into inversions later on in, in a different blog series on Worship Guitar Workshop. So let's review. We've got our one chord, our two minor, our three minor, but more commonly, our one over three, our four chord, our five chord, our six chord, six minor. A couple variations there. Our seven or five over seven, back to our one. All right, this series is called 14 Ways to Escape the First Four Frets. And if we put our cut capo here, we do that a little bit. We're getting up to the fifth fret. And that helps us get out of this mid-range a little bit. But it'd be nice if we could go higher. So if one capo is good, two capos must be better. And what we can do is we can simply capo with a standard capo right here, go two frets up, and now, playing D chords, we're now in the key of F. It's a lot less work than if we were to come down here and play. But again, it's in that more of that mid-range. Plus, it's a lot of work with, with the bar chords. Uh, let's go higher. We capo clear up here at the fifth fret with the cut capo. Third fret here, and now we're playing in the key of G. This is a G triad right here. can handle it. Let's go two more. We're up here in the key of A. Kind of reminds you of uh, George Harrison's Little Darling. Um, 
thing let me just talk about this capo I said I had customized it I cut the sixth string out and the first and second string out if you have an old capo laying around I'd say just give that a try and see which if you like this cut capo action um, you can also buy these too which is easier but I'm just cheap so you can uh, just match those out Kaiser calls them the shortcut capo there's some other brands that make them and Kaiser also makes some different other ones that like an open just an open E, D there, or the open first and sixth string called the double drop D. And they make different variations, even with some of the levers, so you don't have to reach around like I did on that minor two chord. Um, but if you have any questions about any of this, go ahead and uh, either reply to this blog, um, write something here on YouTube, or drop me an email, which you can find on the blog as well. So, hey, this is John Nickel and uh, worshipguitarworkshop.com. And it's also sponsored by worshipteamcoach.com. Talk to you later.